Uh, hi everyone and welcome back to my channel this is allegro thank you so much for coming back to watch yet another video and if you are new here please do take a moment to subscribe to the channel and join our growing youtube family in today's video i'm going to be talking on how to cultivate and retain healthy business relationships and this is a topic that was submitted by a loyal subscriber his name is anthony so thank you so much um, anthony for engaging with me on this um, platform and also suggesting and sending through your video request and if you are like anthony and you have a suggestion in mind feel free please do drop them in the comment section i do take those to heart i do scroll through the comments and engage with you guys and those that i find that would be relevant to be discussed on this platform i definitely will take into consideration such as this so let's delve into the topic without wasting much time now i know that a lot of aspiring or startup entrepreneurs really struggle when it comes to relationships um and i find that with myself, I'll use myself as a, as an example and share my story on how I was able to build um, my my brand and build the company and how my entrepreneurship journey was supported by some of the relationships that I've been nurturing all these years that I've been an entrepreneur. So I've been an entrepreneur for what, 12 years now. And when I started at 21, I really didn't have that many connections. Um, I just knew people from, you know, my immediate family, my friends, people I went to school with and so on. So it really starts with you putting yourself out there you have to be able to put yourself out there and don't be afraid if maybe you know you think people are not going to respond to me people are not going to they don't care who i am because they don't know me i'm not that influential or whatever you may be thinking or just you know saying to yourself to discourage yourself i urge you to not do that be you know put yourself out there don't be afraid to put yourself out there um i used to network quite a lot i still do but I did it a lot more when I was starting out because I needed to know people. I needed people to know me. I needed to find myself in the right rooms um, with the right people. So I would go to um, a lot of events, um, especially when I was still like blogging um, and I was doing a lot of like journalistic work and so on. I would be in most of the rooms where I needed to be seen. And over time, people start to get familiar with you. People start to get familiar with your work. And um, back then, I mean, we used to carry our business cards around, dish out our business cards, take a business card and you know when you get home follow through those connections follow through those contacts that's my second point aside from just putting yourself out there when you have networked when you have gathered connections make sure that you follow through and you follow up on them because a lot of the times you find that we collect the business cards we leave them in our purse we leave them in the car and we never email those people we never you know contact them ever again so we're just basically wasting money printing out these business cards that we never use so i used to have this thing where the following week i would always follow up. I would always, you know, um, reach out and touch base with the people that I took interest in and I took their business cards and so on. So I would send an email or I'd send a text and say, hi, it was lovely meeting you last week at this event. This is Allegro. These are my details. And if ever there's any synergy in future for whatever project that we might be working on, or, you know, you see a possibility of us working together, feel free to, you know, just give me a ring and let's take it from there. And there've been so many um, positive responses just from me reaching out, just from saying, hey, I saw you at the event. I really think that we could be onto something. Let's have a coffee and follow through with that. You know, go for coffee and see. And sometimes you get to meet people and you realize that, okay, no, um, there isn't that much synergy, but it was lovely to meet them. Nonetheless, you're putting yourself out there. And then a lot of the times you find that you click, you gel with a lot of people and you take it from there. Connections are built, relationships are built. So do not disregard that. And don't be that person who just wastes a good connection. You know, I used to be, say I was invited to like a gala event, awards night and so on. And I would see a table of like VIPs over there. And I've been trying to get a hold of this person's office. I've been trying to perhaps set up a meeting with this person and they're very high profile. So you'll see at these events that a lot of people are afraid to sort of like work a room and maneuver around a room and introduce themselves. Everybody just kind of sits by the table and enjoys the night and then they go home. I work a room, you know, even today I work a room. You will see me moving from my table to that table I never think I'm too big for an int to introduce myself. I never think, oh, people know me, people are looking at me, or whatever the case may be. You walk over, introduce yourself, be polite, be nice. Um, and if there's something that you are requesting from that person, request it in a very nice manner. I mean, I've met some top business women, some very um, high profile businessmen and women that I wouldn't have gotten to meet them and end up having coffee, lunch, meetings, whatever with them had I not gone to that event and introduced 
police myself had i just kept trying to call their office and go through their assistance and so on um and just being told to call back later they're not available they're busy they're this and they're that but now they remember me because i met them at the event i introduced myself and i briefly mentioned that listen i would love to have you know um, a meeting with you to, dis to discuss x y and z because this is what i'm interested in and i think it would be a perfect fit for the both of us to sit down and just discuss and 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 to your surprise, you would be surprised that many people actually love that approach and you would skip a lot of, you know, this phone call to this assistant, to that person, to that person, just by introducing yourself. Now you are with that person and the following week or the next day, they remember you because you call, you follow through, you email them and you introduce yourself and you set up a meeting, you know, so don't be afraid to put yourself out there, follow up on those contacts, those, um, you know, those, that building phase, that foundation phase of, you know, building the relationships, harness those, take care of those relationships. And speaking of taking care of relationships, once you are in the zone, once you are within that circle where you have always wanted to be, make sure that you take care of those relationships you nurture those relationships you don't get there and think okay well now i've made it now what um relationships where there's no communication i feel like they just they fall through nothing happens they fail so make sure that you communicate with people you follow up even when it's not business related you know depending on the type of relationship that you have you know built um check up on people send them a happy birthday message a happy anniversary for their company whatever it is you know and if you if you have a contact that you know that um might be useful to them help them out send them a contact just build on relationships because when you do that one day when they are in a position to help you and share your contact with someone else they'll say hang on i know allegra is into pr and somebody here at the office needs pr or a friend of a friend at an event that i made needs media training i know the perfect person obviously they're going to share my contact details because they know me and we we you know we take care of each other and when i know that i'm in a position to share their contact details and to introduce them to people i know that they could help them with within their business or just personal um you know development personal growth maybe they're looking for a mentor or anything like that i feel free to just reach out you know and that's how you take care of me i take care of you we help each other but if i'm just giving 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 and people are just receiving and receiving and i'm not getting anything out of that relationship over time you start to just pause you start you, you just stop to you know do things for people you stop doing things for people because you feel like I kind of feel like I'm being used here. I'm always pouring out. I'm always giving to people, but no one ever does anything nice for me. No one ever thinks about me. No one ever considers me when there's an opportunity where I might be able to assist. I might be able to come on. They would rather go and contact somebody else knowing very well that I'm capable of handling such a campaign or such a project or whatever um, whatever work it is. So um, take care of those relationships, nurture them, follow through, um, and also just make time to just listen to people. I feel like sometimes we're always in this hustle mode. A lot of the times where everybody is just so busy and we miss that sometimes people just, they want to be listened to. You know, they might not need solutions from you, but entrepreneurship is difficult. It's hard. It's draining. And sometimes we feel like we don't even have friends. It's a lonely journey. You know, I know you've heard this so many times where they say it's a lonely place to be in. So it's nice when you meet people, you have these connections, relationships you build with them and you can just listen it's a phone call or, you know they are phone call away just pick up the phone and ask them how they're doing you know i was just thinking about you in a company or i saw you posting on instagram how's everything going in the new year or how has business been throughout covid and just from that conversation, you could just step into a different element of that relationship, meaning that you're building a better connection. You're starting to understand one another more. And that person feels like, whoa, they care enough about me and, you know, where I am in my entrepreneurship journey just to ask how I'm doing. Not a lot of people are. So that will definitely stand out. So, um, yeah, just take care of those relationships and learn to listen to one another. And I'm sure when you need a listening ear, someone else out there who you have been there for or you, who you you know, have great relations with professionally and in the working space and, you know, um, entrepreneurship space, they're going to listen to you. They're going to lend an ear. You know, they'll, they'll ask you to just, let's go meet for lunch, dinner, whatever. Let's talk it out or give me, give me a, a couple of minutes, whatever, to jump on a Zoom call with you and we can talk for hours um, and just share ideas and grow together. So don't ever be afraid. Once again, the most important thing I think to take away from this video 
Put yourself out there. Start where you are. Don't be afraid. Don't think that no one knows me. Who am I to even go up there and introduce myself to these high profile people, to these people who are in such great positions. I'm only starting out. You never know what will happen. Put yourself out there. The worst you can hear is no, I don't have time or no, I can't help you right now. And don't stop trying. You keep going. So yeah, I think those are just from a personal point of view, some suggestions, some, um, you know, just advices on how you to cultivate and also retain um, healthy business um, relationships. And I hope this video has helped you. And if you have any further comments um, on this topic or you have a suggestion, perhaps you've done something else that I haven't mentioned that is working well for you as an entrepreneur that is helping you just cultivate these amazing relationships and retain them. And you've done so for a number of years or a number of months. Please do share in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. And once again, thank Thank you to Anthony for submitting um, today's topic. And like Anthony, if you want to submit a topic, feel free to engage with me in the comment section and I will definitely consider it. Thank you for watching and I will chat to you guys in the next video. Bye.